Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first comedian for this round of the Rocky Tom Top Comedy Contest. I can't fucking talk. Right here in Knoxville, Tennessee, Sean Chittister. <laughs> Good evening, Nasra. How you doing? <laughs> Fucking right. God damn, son of a bitch balls. I had to get that out of the way just to make sure for the rest of my set. Holy shit. Is it hot outside or is it just me? I'm dead fucking serious. I can't walk through this stuff. Every day I wake up in the morning, it takes me 15 minutes to decide what type of underwear I'm going to wear. That way I don't have a sweaty asshole. <laughs> Swass, if you will. Swass. Swissy for the women, just to let you know. You don't make it a but I don't I've been down that road. It's horrible. Fuck this weather. That's ridiculous. You should never have to do that. Oh man. And I work in retail, which is even worse. Cause it's you, there's no air conditioning that's gonna fill up a room like that. It's fucked up. So I gotta swass the whole day. And I'm sitting there and I'm just rubbing on shit. I'm like, God, I don't that's gonna be a good computer for you. Don't mind me, I got sweats. Oh, fuck this weather, that's all I gotta say, fuck this weather. So a lot of people make fun of my hair, uh, around here, which is weird, um, and they see this little ponytail right here, you see it? Good. And you know what the first thought that comes to their head is? He's a fucking samurai. I don't know what it is. The last white samurai I ever saw, man, that was Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. And that motherfucker, he's a Scientologist, so that just doesn't make any sense at all. But I get it all the time. And I get it, like I said, I work in retail, I get it all the time. And so, uh, what, a lady came up to me, and this is a true story. A lady came up to me and she's like, we're looking between a cover for some type of a case. And it was between pink or purple, which, anyways, pink or purple, that'll make sense in a second. And she looks dead straight in the eye, and she looks right at me, and she's like, "I don't wanna, I don't wanna offend, I don't, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna offend you, but I mean, both these colors look gay." And I'm like, "Whoa, hey, 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 I'm a fucking samurai, and I will cut you in half if you ever call me gay again. Fuck you." Oh man. So uh, my friend comes up to me the other day and he's really excited. It seems like, Sean, 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 hey, Sean. I'm like, what's up, man? What's going on? Fucking tell me. Calm down. And he goes, hey, I, I went to the next level with my girlfriend. I'm like, did you? What did you do? What did you do? I farted on her. <laughs> okay, cool. That is the next level. Awesome, I guess. I, I'm more of an extremist. I think the next level for me is if when you get a, like shit on her chest. And she, if she gets over that and doesn't like leave you, you're golden. That's the next level. There's no middle level. Farting is just like a tease. It's like when some girl is just pulling her panty down halfway. That's all it is. I freaked you all out. <laughs> so I'm single. <laughs> no, and I've been single for a while. I love being single. And I'm like, I'm to the point of single where anything I do, it's fantastic and I can do it naked. Uh, well, not in public, but in my house. Let me, let me rephrase it. In my house. Anything I do, I can do it naked. And I do it all the time. I watch TV, I eat shit, it falls on my, on my chest and stuff. I get a little dog, dog cleans it up. I don't care. It's just easy. Um, but I've also got to the point where, like, I, I can masturbate to anything on television and regain all that knowledge after I get off. News programs. That's the best way to watch the news, I've realized. You just pleasure yourself while they're going over bullshit. And then once you're done, you're like, ah. There's a tornado killing Kansas. <laughs> but after I realized that too, like after I get off, the greatest thing about it though is, is I still have my dog to come over and clean up the mess. <laughs> How many smokers got in this house? Not marijuana, cigarettes. That was my Baptist coming out. And I'm not Baptist, I'm Mormon. Figure that one out. Um, Anyway, so I smoke a lot of cigarettes. I love smoking. Greatest thing I could ever do in my entire life. I, I'm not going to lie. It's enjoyable. But I got my flavor. I got crushed cigarettes is what I smoke. Does anybody know what a crushed cigarette is? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a regular cigarette. You crush it, it turns into a menthol. If I want to be black, I don't know. Maybe that's just what it is. <laughs> Nonetheless, I didn't know this when I first started smoking them. And so I'm getting down to the butt of a cigarette. And my friend looks at me. And this is the same friend that farted on his girlfriend, but whatever. Um, my friend looks at me, he goes, hey, crush the cigarette, crush the cigarette. I'm like, all right, wow, menthol, holy shit, this is awesome, this is fantastic. Ladies that are in the audience, you have to answer this question for me, though. Would it not be amazing if you're blowing a dude, and like right before he got off, you crush his dick, and it's like a burst of strawberries? 
Maybe watermelon? I don't know. Get into that. A girl yelled out chocolate one night, fucked my head up. I was like, eat a candy bar. Good lord. <laughs> guys, my name is Sean Chittister. Thank you very much. You guys enjoy the rest of the show.